Well, I'm late to the party again. Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games. No, we got these collector boosters a week late up here in Canada. So I've been really excited to get into one of these boxes of collector boosters. I mean, this set is absolutely off the charts. All right, let's see what we're gonna get in here. So how'd you guys make out on your pre-releases on the weekend? Did you go to pre-releases? Were you able to go to pre-releases? Let me know in the comments section below. What are you thinking of this set? Man, oh man, the power creep, holy cow. Some of these creatures like, wow, I ran into Terror of the Peaks on the weekend. That thing is off the charts. Elder Garganoth, man, oh man. Some of the creatures in the set are just bonkers. Okay, so we got a foil griffin. It's a good start, I guess. What's going on here? Some of this stuff's upside down. Weird, okay. I guess they put the token, I guess the whole pack's upside down. It's double side down, all right, I'll be fine. So we got a snare spinner, a spell gorger weird, alchemist gift. This thing saved my butt a couple times on the weekend at the pre-releases. We got a foil regular basic planes, light of promise. Sanctum of Tranquil Lights. Cool, these shrines are back. This one here is kind of lame though, but. And these are amazing looking. I opened one in a pack at the pre-release on the weekend. Wow, I was so impressed. The foiling on this is really nice. These are awesome. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. So then we have a Borderless a Primal Might. Okay. I kind of thought this card was gonna be really awesome, but I've been trying it a little bit out in Arena. And it's a little less impressive than I hoped it would be. I think it's just a timing issue. Nothing wrong with the card. If this thing was instant, it would be wicked, but... Okay. And then we have a foil Bass Recut. This guy's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to building a deck around him. I just don't have enough wild cards yet, so... Alright. Maybe we'll put him up there. Another foil rare. Thieves Guild Enforcer. This thing's making some showings in Arena, too. It's actually kind of cool card. I really like this thing. Alright. Fairy's Tutelage, all these sort of alt border cards for a bunch of the different cards in the set. Chandra's Mage Mutt. Okay. Chandra's Incinerator alt border. I really like this thing. It's definitely going to see some modern play, I think. These cards are so weird, aren't they? Doesn't this look like a mistake, like a test card or something? There's just nothing in the text box. It's so awkward. Anyway. Okay. Whoa, baby! First pack beautifulness. Oh my god. This is the card I wanted out of the set. I would have been happy with just the alt art sort of borderless one, the box topper type one. But this is the foil. Oh man. 100% this is going in my collection. Yes. Okay. Really happy with that first pack. If I get nothing awesome out of the rest of the box, I would still consider this to be a success. Really nice, foil, borderless, Grim Tutor. Construct, okay, I don't know what makes Construct tokens, but foil opt, Daybreak Charger, Gnarled Sage, Bone Pit Brute, hmm. Okay, Obsessive Stitcher, yeah. Invigorating Surge, there's a nice looking Foil Alt Art Forest. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's really nice. Put that over there. Then we have a Borderless Fabled Passage. So that's pretty cool looking. I haven't seen a whole lot of those, even when uh, they were sort of out in Throne of Eldraine. I'm not sure if they were available in Throne, but that's a cool looking card. This guy's making some showings in uh, Arena too, so a lot of people playing around this deck. Baron Tolarian Archmage. He's really cool. Okay, happy with that guy. Nice. Another box topper, sort of borderless chromatic ori. That would be like the next one I'd want out of this. This is going to get a lot of commander play, I think, down the road. So that's definitely a nice hit for sure. Really nice. Wow. Good box to Fairy's Protege. Liliana Stewart. And then we have a Containment Priest. I opened a couple of these in my box openings. By the way, if you're interested in checking out. You know, it's just sort of the regular draft booster box. I'll put that up here. Check those out. I had some pretty good pulls in some of my box openings. And we got a foil, a Chandra's Pyroling, and a foil Chandra's Mage Mutt. Okay. Amazing box. First two packs, Grim Tutor and Chromatic Ori. Can't say I can complain so far about this box at all. 
Alpine Watchdog. Man, yeah, there's some really cool decks with the Alpine Huntmaster guy. He seems to be really uh, showing up in Arena 2. It's a really competitive deck. So there is a nice foil altar planes. Really good looking. Okay, really impressed with these. Nine lives, such a terrible card. I want to give this to someone with harmless offering. I want to do that so bad. It's such a bad strategy, but man, it would be funny. Here, take this one. It has like no counters left on it. All right. Spark Hunter Massacre. Is this thing good? I don't know. Seems like it's probably good for Commander. It's Planeswalker Killer, right? I don't know. I think that's okay for Commander. Chandra's Pyreling. And we got one of these Altart Borderless Cultivates. They're really sweet. It's the third one of those I've gotten too. It's just really nice. The Fairy's Ageless Insight. That's a rare. Hmm. Another one of these weird looking Gorehorn guys. Now Garrick's Harbinger with the Alt Border. I think this thing's just really solid. Man, like you just get, you get a 4-3 for just three mana and it has Hex Root from Black. Like if that's all you got, it seems okay. But whenever this thing deals combat damage to a player or a planeswalker, you look at that many cards from the top of your library. And then you may reveal a creature card or a Garuk planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. This guy's solid. I think he's going to make some appearances in standard and green. Okay. Cat token. All right. So basic planes, boring. Warded Battlements, okay. Wishcoin Crab. Is there any good crabs? Run afoul. Bulltowns. Rewind. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a video on, uh, I've been playing Simic Flash a lot. I've been playing that deck a lot, basically since that was a deck on Arena. And it's definitely making a resurgence. I've been playing it in Diamond level. I'm at like Diamond 2 right now with it. And it is so gross when you rewind someone's spell and then you untap off four mana and then cast a night pack ambusher just really really disgusting turn for simic flash so if that's something that interests you maybe keep your eyes open for that i'll be doing a deck tech on the updated list of that simic flash soon so keep your eyes open and then we have a radha heart of keld borderless this is also really good i had this on the weekend yeah super solid Demonic Embrace, I actually really like this too. It's this quite good. Okay. Teferi Master of Time Foil. Okay, so it's not any of the crazy like altered or borderless ones, but still really nice hit for sure. It's been an amazing box. Okay, just a bit crappy Gorehorn. Teferi's Protege, yeah, we've seen a few of those. So there's a Chandra Alt Border Heart of Fire. So again, really cool looking there. She's pretty awesome. Put her there. Teferi's Tutelage Foil. That seems to be keep coming up. And Gurik's Uprising. Okay. Piles are a mess like usual. Wow. Really impressed with this box. I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to check out too many um, box openings so far of this collector booster stuff. So, you know, I think I'm getting a good box here. If I am, this is really good. This Eliminate. Yeah. Super solid card. Really nice include in this set. There's a alt border swamp. Alt art swamp. Really nice as well. Ooh, Ren and Sari. Okay, so that's the box topper in non-foil. Kind of don't like that they do that, but I guess it gets more supply out there. Foil containment priest. Also really nice. Maze mine tome. Yeah, I've actually been running into this a little bit on Arena. I think people are just kind of testing it out. I'm not sure if this is quite good enough to be in standard, but like I said, I've been running into it, so. Um, there's another Borderless Grim Tutor. Not a foil this time, but still a really nice hit for sure. Man, these boxes are cool. Okay. Oh, throw across the room. What, what did I throw away here? A Solemn Simulacrum. That's really interesting. I have not seen this artwork in any of the previews or anything. Okay, this is my first time running into this. Really nice looking. Huh. I got a regular foil one in my pre-release kit, so it's really nice looking altar borderless one. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, put that up there. Yeah, I mean, if I stop this box right now, I think I still did well. Holy cow. This has been absolutely amazing. That's, like I said, I haven't watched too many videos on this 
like uh, collector booster box opening stuff. So if I'm doing good here, tell me. I think I'm doing good. Okay. There is the foil altar plane or islands. Really nice. Feline Sovereign. Such a cool deck, Rin and Sari. Foil Scavenging. It was cool that, cool that this is back. Moves it up into uh, Pioneer 2, right? So they kind of had to do that, I think. Ghostly Pilferer. Okay. Some more of these guys. There's the Solemn Simulacrum in non foil. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. One more stack to go. Wow. I am impressed. So, are you guys getting any collector boosters? What are you guys doing with all this stuff? Plan on buying collector boosters? Let me know down there in the comments. I want to know how you make it with yours. How did you do on your pre release? I think I already asked that. Okay. There's a foil forest. All right. And we have Volcanic Salvo. This thing is so terrible. Man, oh man. If it was six damage to like players, if that wasn't one of the options, then, you know, this might be playable. But otherwise, I think it's kind of terrible. Glorious Anthem foil. So that's kind of nice. Then we have a foil borderless double vision. This is really sweet. This is destined to become a commander staple. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcerer spell each turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Incoming commander staple there. Mm -hmm. Some more of these guys. There's a alt border Basseries Lieutenant. Okay. I'm supposed to put that up there. And then there, yes, another one of these. These are really sweet looking. I really like this. Yeah. Borderless Cultivate. It's interesting that they put it in the rare slot. It does appear in rare slot in packs, so that's kind of weird. Okay. Finishing Blow. Yeah, this Alpine Huntmaster. There's a pretty wicked deck with him and like Winoda join our forces. You get to fetch out like Igneous Kerr and the Alpine Watchdog. It's a pretty cool deck actually. Check that out if that's something that you think you might be interested in building. So there we have a, a borderless heroic intervention. That's really nice looking. Always good to have more supply of this in the game as well. Gadrak the Crown Surge, he's pretty cool. This Mangara the Diplomat, man, he's tough to deal with. Yeah, for, for toughness, that's hard to get around. He's really, really solid. I like that guy. Okay. There's a Garuk Unleash Borderless Altered. Yeah, box topper tape. So that's really nice. Mm hmm. Okay. It's the first one I've seen of that too. And yeah, we have a Steward and a Devotee. A few more packs to go here. All right. Citizen training, shock. So always good to have that in standard. Lore scale codals back. There's another mountain. All right, Temple of Triumph, terrible. So always kind of feel bad getting those temples, I guess, unless you need them. Well, that's interesting. So we got a foil Shacklegeist, just sort of the regular foil rare version. And then we got a borderless foil as well. Okay, interesting. A lot of borderless foils in this box. Another Garrick's Harbinger. Okay. And then we got another one of these Cultivate Borderless foils. So yeah, apparently there's going to be a few of those flying around out there. I thought when I opened one in my first box that I was pretty special, but I mean, that's the second one I've got just in these collector boosters. So looks like they're doing the same kind of thing that they've done previously. The collector booster is going to be the way to go for box openers and stuff like that. All right. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Borderless, okay. Nice. This guy. There's a Temple of Silence a Foil Borderless. Okay. Lillian Stewart. Another Containment Priest. So yeah, there's going to be millions of these altered stuff borderless guys out there. Okay. Beast Token. Two more packs. Wow, really super impressed with this box. Yeah, that very first pack like sealed the deal for me. That Grim Tutor was amazing. Okay, Forest. Then we have a N Nyambi Esteemed Speaker, Borderless. Okay, there's another Garuk. It's my second Garuk. Just the regular sort of pack version. Really nice. Chandra's Incinerator. 
Vassery is solidarity. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Okay. Ooh, all right. So yeah, this has to be a bomb box. Amazing. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Ugin the Spirit, Dragon, Altar, Borderless, Foil. Wow. Holy cow. Okay. I'm kind of shaking, I'll, I'll admit it. One pack to go, this will probably be a wham, wham pack, just because, you know, how do you top that Ugin? Holy cow. Crazy box. All right, this Lofty Denial is really good too. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a cool new spell. All right, Swamp. And we have a Borderless Necromentia. It's a weird card. Not sure if this one's good, I haven't decided. Foil Borderless Ghostly Pilferer. Foil Borderless Pack Leader. My goodness, this box is insane. I know somebody that's gonna want that. And we got another Bassery Cat, just a regular sort of box version. Okay. All right. Yeah, look at this. These were some crazy, crazy hits. Amazing. I really like that Solemn. A couple of borderless Grim Tutors, but this, yeah. Yeah, this was a crazy, crazy, crazy box. I'm shaking. I can't pick these up. Just quickly go over these again. That Borderless Foil Grim Tutor Altar, it's amazing. Chromatic Orrery. Again, another really nice, destined to be sort of commander staple. That Solemn Simulacrum. Two Borderless Altar Cultivates. And then the granddaddy of them all. Foil bo Borderless Altar Ugin. Okay. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We're doing a bunch of videos this week, some bundle openings and uh, probably another booster box opening, stuff like that. So if you're interested, make sure you check those out. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.